Okay, y'all. We are going to Beauty Land Beauty Supply so that I can get the stuff that I want to make this wig. So, let's go. Hey y'all, so I am in the car just leaving the beauty supply store. I really didn't record too much in there because um, for number one, the people was looking at you like you was crazy. And then it was just too quiet in there for me to be recording and talking at the same time. So I didn't record in there, but I want to show y'all right fast the stuff that I made, I meant that I bought to start off with um, uh, wig making supplies. Cause I said I was gonna get back to, to start making wigs again. So I just bought some little cheap hair or whatever to start off to practice again because I haven't done it in a while. So here we go. This is what I got. Okay, and another thing, these are the things that I got from the beauty supply store. I got some stuff off of Amazon the other day, like a mannequin head, a stand and all that kind of stuff. I'll show y'all that later when I um, get back to it. But now I'm, I'm just gonna show y'all the things that I got from the beauty supply store. Okay, this is the hair right here. Um, it's by Milky Way, Shake and Go, color number one, um, Deep Wave, three pieces of whatever shortcut series. Um, I guess this is how it's supposed to come out or whatever. Jeez. But yeah, it's in the pack. And um, no, my nails are not done. I took them off the air out. Anyways, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I bought two packs of these to start me off with. I got these two wig caps. Even though I got some wig caps from um, Amazon, I just wanted to try. I saw these different kinds, so I wanted to try them out to see or just decide um, which one I was going to use. So yeah, that's what I got. Okay, I got the um, elastic band just in case I want to attach it. I'm assuming so that I could attach it around the back if I want to make, you know, have the band method going on. And then I bought this silicone wig band. Um, I guess you put it on or you tie it around so that the wig does not slip of i don't know i'm gonna figure it out i just saw these things and i just got them just to see you know what um just to have more than one option because the, the wig game has changed the wig making game has changed tremendously since um i used to make wigs maybe like 10 years ago so it's a whole lot of different things different supplies out there that you can use i got a red tail comb just a plain old red tail comb because i needed one uh, with locks, you really don't um, have a use for combs. Um, but I needed one, especially if I'm going to start making wigs and stuff. So then I bought, of course, this um, razor to cut the hair. And then I needed a brush. And that is about it. So um, I will show you all what I got from Amazon in a little minute. Bye. Hey, y'all, what it do, what it do, what it do? This is me, K Bonus, coming to you to show you my latest shenanigan. So, I wanted something different. I didn't want to cut my hair. Um, I just wanted a new look or something that could give me options. You know, like when I wanted to go out or when I'm going somewhere or whatever, I can just have another option as far as hair is concerned that I really don't have to do a lot with. So... Last night, well, before last night, I was watching some videos because I was like, do people wear wigs um, over their locks? So I was like, you know what? A lot of people are wearing wigs over their locks. So I was like, okay, I didn't want to go out and buy a wig. So I was like, you know what? Let me just make one. Let me just see if I can, if I still got it because I used to make wigs back in the day. So I went and as you can see in a couple clips, well, in the clips prior to this, this one um, that I got, I went to Beauty Supply and I got what I needed and I made me a wig. I did not film myself 
making the wig, and if I'm looking this way, it's because I'm looking in the mirror. But I did not feel myself making the wig because it's not like I had it done. I haven't done it in about, maybe like about 10 years. I have um, some old videos, if y'all go and look back, of me making like U-part wigs and stuff like that, invisible hairlines, all that kind of stuff. That's still relevant to today, that people still, you know, use those methods today but um i was like let me just see if i got it first and then once i know i have it down packed then i will come back and film myself actually you know making a wig or whatever but you know i just wanted to show y'all and basically it's giving what it's supposed to be getting period i didn't shape it up too much because i didn't want to you know take too much off botch it up or whatever whatever excuse me um it's some spaces that i do need to fill in um, at the top because I was like real tight and then I was getting a little bit confused because I used her as a guide and I was using the old school it's clipped onto the table but the old school wig stand so it was a bit of a challenge because I knew where it I placed the dome cap on my head first and I knew where you know my I wanted my parting or I wanted my opening and stuff to be in with my ears you know, supposed to go on the dome cap when it was on my head. It was easier, but I did not have a um, a white eyeliner to actually mark it off. So I got a little bit confused, but it worked out. Um, it's giving what it's supposed to give, and I like it. Comment down below and tell me if y'all like it. Y'all wear wigs. Y'all make y'all own wigs. Y'all prefer to buy wigs. What kind of hair y'all use? What kind of caps y'all use? Because as you can see in the um, previous clip, there were a number of they have like so many type of wig caps like i'm so out of the game like with this hair thing and the wigs and all that kind of stuff because shoot i've been wearing locks since uh january of 2018 so i've really been out of the game but just watching videos and stuff like that i was like you know what I'm about to get back into this wig game and I don't have to wear them every day. I don't have to, if I make them myself, I don't have to glue them down. I could just wear it and then take it off and go on about my business, period. But yeah, that's it, y'all. Tell me how you like it. Tell me how you like it. I'm loving it. I love this cute little bougie flexi rod looking set. And then I didn't use any expensive hair either because because I was just trying it out, I just bought some um, little pack hair, some little deep wave pack hair, and I um, did what I had to do. So, anyway, just wanted to come show y'all that, and hopefully the next time I make a wig, I'll be able to actually film myself making it. So, anyway, y'all, have a good day. Bye.